G'day, it's Doug from Shaving Down Under. It's a Monday morning, that's, so that means another shave. And this time we're going to use a shaving soap from America. It's by Murphy and McNeil, if that focuses or not, I'm not sure. But anyway, this is their soap. And it is pronounced, where are we? Cat Cidae. So, I'm not quite sure if that's the right pronunciation, but anyway, it's about um, Celtic folklore involving cats and and black cats, of course. And so I thought, oh, well, a bit of bad luck's good enough for me. So, what they say? Bad luck's better than no luck. So anyway, and it also comes with an aftershave balm, a matching aftershave balm. There are a heap of these in the range, like different uh, scents. Um, really interesting designs. It's, I'll leave links and everything for you to check out. It's worthwhile going there. And um, trusty old Gillette, uh, Aristocrat, my old daily drive, and still has the old um, vintage blade in there from around 1960-ish. So that's what it looks like inside. It's got a, a mild scent to it. Uh, I've got the notes here, the scent notes. So top notes, bergamot and mandarin. And then the heart is neroli and orange. And then the base is amber. So apparently this smells like neroli portofino which I should have Googled beforehand, but didn't. But, but it's a nice smell. I can smell the, uh, the orangey citrusy, the mandarin and orange in there. And the, the rolly as well. So I'm looking forward to getting into it. So there you go. And I've just um, done that in the jar it comes in. And it's nice creamy lather. And I'm using the badger. I reckon this might thicken up a bit more on my whiskers. Yeah, once you've lathered it up, the stent isn't as strong. Well, it was mild to start with. There we go. So hope you all had a good weekend. My weekend was going fine till about 10.45 on Saturday night. And some lads went and watched Brighton playing Manchester United at a local uh, bar, sports bar here in Adelaide. And we were gutted. Pretty much the best team all night and got beaten after extra time. I had a bloke who was on a yellow card, then brought down one our player, um, Lamptey in the box. Should have been another yellow and a send off. Didn't happen.
And then we had another penalty in the box. Connolly was brought down by, uh, was it Pogba? I think it was, yeah. Clear penalty. He calls it. And then goes to the bar. And he's just sitting there, the ref this is, watching it over and over and over in slow-mo. And you don't get nothing. In, when you start watching slow-mo like that over and over and over, it distorts the reality. Now, I knew it. Yeah, and he overturns it. Need to make these soaps a bit wetter. Well, that's the first pass. So I've had added a bit of water to the soap, to the container. Although I've got a, a thick lather last time, it dried quickly on my face. So we're going to extra time five minutes extra time and brighten it down it's 2-1 then there's about 20 seconds to go we scored the equaliser and then the ref just let the game play out And they got a corner. Sent it in. We cleared it. Ref blows full time on his whistle. Then, man, you were claiming handball. And so the rules have changed. And last year it's changed it. Before last year, it was as soon as full time was blown, that was it. But now they've changed it with VAR. So if he blows full time, he can still go back and review something. And that's what he did. And there was the slightest of deflections. Neil Morpé, he's just put his arm up, but he, he tried you lift your arms up and then push it down and try and jump at the same time, try and get elevation. That's what he's tried to do. And he's got the hand up and it's just, ball's just bounced off the top of his wrist and it was there. And the ref called it. And they got the penalty, bang, back of the net. And they win, 3-2. That's 
football. So on Saturday, the missus bought a chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, it's a chainsaw on those poles so she can get up in the trees. We've got a really, we've got quite a few smaller type trees around the property. But we've got one huge one out the front. So I went to work yesterday and um, came home and just like this forest of vegetation sitting on the front lawn or out the front yard. So now she's got to get someone in to um, clear it, chip it and clear it. Let that be a lesson to you fellas. Give them a vibrator. Once they work that out, they want to take the next step. In my case, from vibrator, chainsaw. What can I say? It's going against or across the grain. When I'm actually going up diagonally, it's actually going against it. And you can hear that.
So that was a really smooth shave. No nicks at all. The old aristocrat blade, I, I love them. They're hard to get hold of, but I love them. Like that's no nicks. Now I messed around a bit there as well. And I had started using that blade uh, three weeks ago. So I used it for about a week, no longer than a week. And then I went on to the Chic Challenge with the vintage and the new blade. So that's sitting in the razor for the last two weeks here in the bathroom and then it's come out and it's a third or fourth shave and just beautiful, just smooth as. So uh, this is alcohol free, as a lot of these are. And let's try it out. See if it, we'll just give it a shake. I don't think it needs it. So I'm just going to go with like a pea size. Yeah, that smells nice. Finish is a bit oily, so it's not my favourite finish. I like a real dry finish, but still, this isn't bad. This is nice. Yeah, real pleasant, real nice scent. Um, let's wrap this up quickly. So I got to get moving, get to the shop. Definitely a five out of five. You can't go wrong with this one. Just show you the cap again. That's just one of, I can't remember, there's a lot in the range. Um, on their website, they got a, a lot of uh, different uh, brushes as well to sell and raise. I didn't have a quick look. I didn't have a comprehensive look at this. I just went in there quickly, looked at, um, obviously this quick look at the soaps again and just the brushes. And so, yeah, definitely buy this one with confidence. Uh, lovely soap. It was easy to lather. Um, really nice scent. The aftershave balm, I thought the scent was even better. And, yeah, it's five out of stars. Five stars out of five. Beautiful. Okay, I've got to run. I'm starting to get confused. Rightio. All have a good week, and I'll see you again very soon. Ciao.